All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking log from both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 40. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log 40. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 4. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log of 40 over log 4. Now, log 40, this is the same thing as log of 4 times 10 is log 40, 40 is equal to 4 times 10. So I have this over log 4. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 4 times 10. So this is equal to log 4 plus log 10. And now I have this over log 4. Now log 4 plus log 10 over log 4, this is the same thing as log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4. And log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 4. So now log 10, this is the same thing as 1. Log 10 is equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 4. And log 4 is equal to 0 0.602. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.602, which is equal to 1 plus 1.66, meaning x is equal to 2.66. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. So to solve this problem, I first start with x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. And now I'm going to take the power, or sorry, I'm going to rewrite 1024 here as 4 times 256. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n. This is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 4 to the power of 4 times 256. I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of 4 to the power of 256. Now 4 to the power of 4, that's the same thing as 256. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 256 to the power of 256. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, x is equal to 256. Now, to check, I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. We know that x is 256, so I have 256 to the power of 256 is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. Now, 256 is the same as 
16 squared. So I have 16 s squared times 256 is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. And 16 is the same as 4 squared. So I have 4 to the power of 1024 is equal to 4 to the power of 1024. All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. So to start, I'm going to first start by expanding x minus y squared. So now I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So now these two x squared cancel out if I subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have negative y squared is equal to negative 2xy plus y squared. And now I'm going to add y squared on both sides and add 2xy on both sides. These two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I have 2xy is equal to 2y squared. Now I'm going to subtract 2y squared on both sides. These two cancel out, and I get 2xy minus 2y squared is equal to 0. Now I can factor out 2y. So now I have 2y times x minus y is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2y is equal to 0, and I also have x minus y is equal to 0. So for 2y equals 0, this means that y is equal to 0. And if x minus y equals 0, this means that x is equal to y. And remember, y equals 0, so x is also equal to 0. So both of these variables are equal to 0. Now, I have another method of solving this. I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. So now, I'm going to rewrite x squared minus y squared as x plus y times x minus y. And now, I'm going to divide both sides by x minus y. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x plus y is equal to x minus y. Now, I have x plus y equals x minus y, and I can cancel these two x's out. So now I have y is equal to negative y, meaning... 2y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 0. So again, I get y equals 0. So now to check, I had x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. If both of these are equal to 0, then I have 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 squared, meaning 0 equals 0.